Hi, I'm Libby and welcome back to One Life. This week it's Advent and that means it's nearly Christmas. So I wonder how many of you have got your Christmas trees up or are getting ready for a nice peaceful Christmas this year. So today Joe will be sharing our big idea on how God can guide us. And if you want any more information, don't forget to sign up for the One Life resource. But first, let me pray. And as I do, our first Advent candle will be lit. God of Abraham and Sarah, and all the patriarchs of old, you are our Father too. Your love is revealed to us in Jesus Christ, Son of God and Son of David. Help us in preparing to celebrate his birth, to make our hearts ready for your Holy Spirit, to make his home among us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the delight who is coming into the world. Amen. Now let me continue with our confession. Heavenly Father, so often we turn away from you and fill our hearts with our own worries and thoughts. We can keep them close to us and turn away. We are sorry for the times we have not given up our burdens to you. We are sorry for the times we have not let you guide us and turned away for fear of your judgment or times we fear due to the selfish things we do. We are sorry and we repent because we know you are gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and wise in judgment. Thank you for, for forgiving us, Father Lord, and because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, making a way for us to come to you, and we turn our hearts to you. Lord, search our hearts as we lay them before you, carry our burdens, share our joys, and show us where we are not walking with you. We pray that this week we will learn to trust your judgment and fulfil the plan you have given to us. We ask you to guide us in all that we do. In Jesus' name, Amen. And now let's continue with our service. It's the King Song. We're going back in time now to the time of King David. Let's go! A long, 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 long time ago, God made a promise He would send a king. A great, 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 great grandson promised to David. He would be a great king who would rule forevermore. King forever. King forever we want. King forever. Jesus, the King God promised, has come. The time travelers traveling through time. Time of Isaiah. Here we go. A long, 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 long time ago, God sent a prophet to describe his king. Wonderful, powerful, peaceful, eternal, he will have a kingdom. It will have no end. He is the king of everyone. Less long but still quite long ago God spoke to Mary You will have a son The great, 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 great grandson promised David You will call him Jesus and his kingdom will not end What? Never, ever, ever! The king of our country, 
I'm 100% confident. The king of your street, he's the king of your home. But is he your king? Cause he's seated on his throne. He's the king of your street and the king of your home. And he's coming back in glory so that everyone will know. The Ice Lodge and surrounding areas will be getting a real cold snap from the beginning of October, so please do wrap it warm. Roll up, roll up, come and get your long trousers. Two pairs for one, off the end of October. Come and get your telegraph, latest news, 10 centimetres of snow forecast for early October. We will see an end to this mild weather as the beginning of October brings in a cold front. Hi Andy, how's it going? Yeah, it's not that great. Oh, sorry to hear that. What's up? Well, we worship a loving God, yeah, because he cares for us, he looks out for us, he's a living God, he's yeah. a God who wants relationship with us, and he, and he listens to us, doesn't he? And, yeah. and, and he guides us. Yeah. Yeah, well... I don't think he loves me. I don't think he cares about me. I don't think he's listening. Just, it's all one-sided. It's me and there's like, where is he? I just need his guidance. Just some guidance, that'd be great. Oh, that doesn't sound right. God longs to be in a relationship with us, Andy. Not me. Hmm. Not me at all. That can't be right. Is there something maybe, I don't know, maybe have you done something that you need to say sorry for? I know that can sometimes come between us and God. No, I don't think so. I do, I do mess up, yeah, but if I always say sorry and ask him to forgive me, just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we all mess up, don't we? God always forgives us when we say sorry. So it can't be that. Mm. Are you setting time aside to be with him? Well, yeah, I have a quiet time every day, don't I? But um, I'm kind of always talk, I always sort of try and talk to him when I go for a run or something in the morning, but... Mm -hmm. So it's not that then. And you're reading the Bible? Yep. Mm. God often speaks to us through prayer. Are you praying, Andy? Yeah, all the time. Oh. Everyone does. Mm. Okay. Well... Do you think God might be trying to speak to you through other people? Have you asked anyone else's advice? Hmm. Well, I don't think so on this matter, because it's something that everyone else wouldn't necessarily have an opinion on. They wouldn't know about it. They wouldn't want to, they wouldn't have something to say about it. Well, do you think you may be being impatient? Do you think God might be just asking you to wait? No, actually, I don't think that. I was expecting the answer way before now. Hmm, okay. Calm down now, Andy. Have you noticed those little coincidences happening? You know, little signs and things that guide you? No, nothing. No, absolutely nothing. Nothing uh, at all. Sorry, Andy, I really don't know. Just out of interest, what is it you're seeking guidance for? Well, when to come out of my shorts and put long trousers on, of course. <laughs> Something tells me you should have done that way back in October. Well, I didn't, didn't wonder why my legs started to turn all white and blue. <laughs>
In 
strength like no other reaches to me. You are my hope, hope like. Hi, I'm Jo Batch, the Children and Families Mission Leader here at Christ the King. And I'm going to help us think about this week's big idea. Can God guide me? Now there'll be some questions that come up on your screen. So when you see these, press pause and take some time to discuss them with whoever you're with. Or if you're on your own, take time to give them some thought. Don't forget to press play again when you've finished. So, Father God, be with us as we seek to know you more. Amen. Okay, so this guy decides to go ice fishing one day. So he gets up at two in the morning for an early start. When he arrives, he gets out his saw and he begins carving away at the ice. All of a sudden, he hears an echo in voice. There are no fish under the ice there. The man freaks out looks around but sees no one. So he waits a few minutes. Then he decides there's no one around and keeps on carving. A few minutes later, the voice comes back. There are no fish under the ice there. Wow, he thinks to himself, God is giving me guidance. So once again, he starts to carve away another part of the ice. He hears a bellowing voice. Sir, this is the ice rink manager and there are no fish under there anywhere. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was not a particularly good joke. But this guy thought he was hearing the voice of God. And like Samuel in Samuel 1.3, who thought it was Eli who was calling him. But it was in fact the voice of God he was hearing. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never actually heard the voice of God, although others have. But I do believe that God has guided me through my life. I've not always taken that path, but it's good to know that God never gives up on us. God speaks to us in all sorts of ways, and he has a plan for each of us. Pause. In what way has God spoken to you and is it difficult to hear his voice among all the other voices in our lives? So let's have a look at five ways that God guides us. Number one, through scripture. God speaks to us through the Bible. 2 Timothy verse 3.16 says all scripture is God breathed. The Bible shows us the way in which we should live our lives. If we read our Bibles regularly, God often helps us to remember a verse which will help us when we need direction. There are lots of situations in the Bible that can speak into areas of our lives or certain situations we might find ourselves in. And God has a way of showing us these just at the right time. Secondly, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us to recognize when God is speaking to us and speaks into our hearts the things God wants us to hear. The Spirit brings the words of God to us as we pray. The Spirit guides us in all sorts of ways, sometimes even in dreams. I can remember being really worried about something. I can't even remember what it was that I was worried about but I do know that it was needless worry, something I'd built up in my mind. It wasn't recently, but it was when I'm a celebrity was on and I dreamt that I had to get into a tank of water with a snake in it. I was terrified. But when I looked closer, I saw the snake wasn't real. It was plastic 
and on closer inspection it was tethered to the bottom of the tank. I realised there was nothing to be afraid of. The next day I pondered on this strange dream and I realised that God was telling me that the things I was afraid of, they just weren't real, they were in my mind. There really was nothing to worry about. I was also sure that the snake represented the devil, the one who tries to make us worry needlessly. But the snake was tethered. God was telling me that he's dealt with him. Pause. Has God ever spoken to you in a dream? And how did you know it was him and not too much cheese before bed? Thirdly, common sense. This is one that's short and sweet. God's given us a conscience and he's given us a brain and he'd never guide us to do anything that we know is wrong or silly. If it feels like a stupid idea, it probably is, and it most certainly is not from God. Number four, advice from others. We all need advice all through our lives and God often speaks to us through others. Sometimes we have to humble ourselves to take someone else's advice. Would this be easier if we knew it was God's advice we were taking? Number five, random signs. Pause. Have you ever had a series of coincidences that were personal to you, that you feel was God speaking or guiding you? Share it with someone. If we invite God to guide our decisions, he'll often use signs and coincidences to guide us. Sometimes they're subtle nudges. Sometimes, for the more stubborn of us, they might be right in your face. Sometimes doors will open for us or they may close. Sometimes we may hear the same thing speaking into the situation from several different media. We may hear or see nothing we might be encouraged to keep going. Proverbs 19.21 says this, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that you promise to lead those who ask you. Please help us to hear your voice. I pray that you would lead each and every one of us and help us to figure out what you are saying to us. In Jesus' name, Amen.
thank you for joining us and isn't it just amazing how God is able to guide us in so many ways and loves us unconditionally. So next week you'll be able to join us in the building again at 4pm for One Life, for One Life Gets Messy. So please book your place through the church website and so now to finish a prayer of blessing. May you find joy in each other, may you find the path that God has laid out for you and be guided by the Lord. Carry each other in your hearts and share God's grace. May you have the love for others as Jesus loves you and may the love be abundant and full of knowledge and wisdom so that you can be pure and blameless and may God guide you through it. In the name of Christ, Amen.